All right then, so now we have our get requests for all books, a single book, and also a post request to add new books as well. The next thing I'd like to do is to create a delete request to delete a specific book. So let's do that handler down here. We say app, oops, not in caps, app, and then use a method called delete this time. Now the endpoint is gonna be forward slash books and then forward slash route parameter ID. So this is going to be the ID of whatever book that we want to delete. All right. Okay. So then we fire a function which takes in the request and the response object right here. And inside that function, we now need to delete a book from the database. Now this is going to be very similar to find one up here in the way that we approach it. So first of all, we're going to check that the object ID is valid. So whatever ID we have in the URL, we're going to check that that's valid first of all, because we don't want to try and delete a document if it's not valid. Otherwise we'll get an error right here when we try to do that. And then inside it, we're going to get the books collection. We're going to delete one instead of finding one. And then we're going to return a response, either success or if there's an error. Okay. And then down here, if this is not a valid ID, then we send this response as well. So what I'm going to do instead of writing all this out from scratch is copy this and I'm going to paste it down here. And then we're just going to edit this a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is change this find one right here to delete one instead, because that's the method we need to use to delete a document. All right, so then right here, we don't get a document back, we get a result object back, and we're gonna send that back to the client. So inside the JSON method, put the result as well. And then down here, we catch any error. We set a status of 500, and then instead of this error right here, we'll say could not delete the document. And then down here, we'll keep this the same. This is returned, this JSON, if this object ID is not valid. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now we have the endpoint where we pass in the ID and we grab the ID right here. We do a check to make sure that it's a valid object ID, if it is. Then we get the books collection. We use the delete one method and we say which book we want to delete via the ID property right here using the ID from the route parameter. And then once that's done, we get the result back from MongoDB. We send that back to the client and if there's an error, we catch it and we send this back to the client instead. And down here, we send this back to the client if this is false, if it's not a valid object ID. So all done, let's save it and try it out in Postman. All right then, so let's create a new request. It's going to be a delete request and it's gonna to be to localhost 3000 forward slash books and then forward slash the ID of whatever book we want to delete. So I'm just gonna to go to the get request for all books. I'm gonna send this just to get an ID of a single book. So let's scroll down a little bit and let's grab this one right here, the George Orwell one. So I'm gonna copy that ID, cross this off and I'm gonna paste that in right here. So that's the ID of the book that I want to delete. So all I need to do now is send this. There's no body or anything like that. Send it and hopefully it will get back a response from the server. So let's see. And we can see right here, acknowledged true and deleted count is one. So now it has deleted that book. And if we go back to books over here and send this request again, we shouldn't be able to see now the George Orwell book. Scroll down. Yep, it was here before, but it's not there now. And if we scroll right to the bottom, we can see it's nowhere to be seen. Awesome. So that, my friends, has worked. Now we have got all books, got single books. We have posted new data to save new books. And now we have a delete request to delete books. And I'm going to save this as well. And we'll save it inside bookstore like so. Okay, cool. So then next up, there's one more request to handle, and that is a patch request to update existing books in the database.